everybody, and welcome to Marathon of Misery. Or at least the rebooted version of it, anyway. Uh, basically, what the series is going to be is me playing terribly, horrible, awful games just for you. And, you know, it, it's going to be a fun, magical, happy time. Uh, this first game, uh, ignore some of the weird, wacky, behind-the-scenes details. Uh, let it be known that this game is probably either extremely expensive or not very expensive. Probably, I don't know, depends on the platform. Uh, but anyway, I you can see down here, I'm going to uncrop the screen because it's just on my face. But basically, uh, as you can see, I've got the logo of the show up there. Got some branding up in here. Uh, we've got the game uh, right here to the right of me. There it is. And we have a timer down there. Uh, and that does, in fact, say one hour. And I will be playing this game for one hour. And it's not going to be very enjoyable. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to move around my uh, game just so I can look at both of these at the same time. So, anyway, uh, we are going to be begin playing the game, which I have paused. But I am going to unpause it. And you can see the uh, FPS during the skyrocket. Because we are playing the game... It, it eventually Morpheus interactive we are playing VR Stucker so here we go so there you go Morpheus interactive a 3DO experience nobody owns a 3DO so that's why I don't have a 3DO so there you go okay kind of easy to discern so anyway let's hit the timer let's get this started let's go go for it there you go so let's let's go for it i'm gonna go for it Utah. Utah. so there you go mission objective disable hill air force base clear the skies expected resistance air moderate ground none there you go. So there you go. You can see these amazing CG cutscenes. I'm lying. They're, they're, they're not amazing. Utah, over the hill. Hill Air Force Base has been taken over by enemy forces. Disable the base by... Okay, we're not allowed to... I'm not allowed to listen to the whole thing. So anyway, basically the controls are uh, A fires whatever shot you have, which you can change with the R button. L changes your perspective, so you can either do F first person perspective. You can do plain the full plane perspective with just the um with just the um with with the, with the HUD, and then and then you can also do. You can also do no HUD at the same time. Uh, and this game's controls are very, very confusing. It has flight controls, as you can see. But it's really hard to activate. They're, like, they're, really, they're really hard to get used to at first. And even if, and even as you're playing, you're, you're, you can easily get disoriented. You can easily um, lose track of how, of how to fly the thing. You know, and overall, it's a very irritating and soul-crushing experience because at the end of the day, not only can this game frustrate you, but it's also boring because there's no music, first of all. Absolutely no music. The most music you get is that beeping noise when you lock onto an enemy plane. And there's a destroyed air target. Yeah, basically you're just trying to shoot down planes the entire game. And yeah, it, it, it gets boring. Uh, if you somehow fly in the wrong directions, uh, you will kill yourself by complete mistake. And it, it can get extremely dehabilitating. And even it can even disorient you because the fucking thing... Um, because the world tilts 
like you're actually in the aircraft. So like, it, is, it annoyingly tilts around and it's super goddamn, like just, ugh, it's hard, it's hard to, it's hard to picture playing this game for long periods of time without you getting motion sick. If you do have motion sickness, please refrain from watching this video for any second longer because I don't want you vomiting all over your monitor from these shitty developers. Which, by the way, the people responsible for developing this game are the good old folks at American Laser Games who have made shit and also more shit and I think that all that they've made is shit. So yeah. Oh, almost crashed into the fucking explosion of that other plane. I mean, I'm I'm gonna have cool plane experience. I mean, cause uh, depending on when this video goes up, probably soon, I'm gonna be going on a trip where I get to see a I get to get on a, a KC-135. That's cool. And I can see a live refuel one. See, that and that that's real life. Like I'm not fucking around with that. That's real life. I get to do I get to be a part of that. Whereas this is a virtual plane. And, you know, you can go into first person mode if you really want it to be virtual reality, but why you would subject yourself to such a horrible plane of, vi of view. Shit. Okay, so, um, the other buttons, uh, B and C increase and decrease your throttle, so, so you can go faster if you want to, um, yeah, you can go faster, it's not recommended to go faster, but, at the same time, you know, it's whatever, this game is really just strange and bizarre, not very fun. I mean, it is a relic of the 90s. See, when you try to go down to the ground, like, you can't do a loop. Like, you can't fly into a loop, because that's basically suicide. If, if you try to do stuff, like, this game does not play like Star Fox. Like, if the, the game is not, it doesn't play clean. It's just... Everything feels really weird and disorienting and very, very obtuse. And it's not, it's not... Uh, like, look at this! I'm about to have spent, like, the first ten minutes trying to beat the first level! The first fucking level! It took me almost ten minutes to complete, and I'm not even... Okay, I'm gonna decrease my throttle, just because... I'm gonna, oh shit, okay. I think at this point they've already shot a missile and trying to shoot me. Oh, I'm so disoriented. Ah, oh, fuck. And trying to go with the map is so fucking, so difficult. So fucking difficult to go with the map. I can discuss the kind of shots you have. You have... Missiles designed for aerial targets, you have missiles designed for ground targets, and then you have a machine gun. Like, oh, what the fuck? I wanna shoot this fucker down. Where are they? Where? 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 Oh, come on! Come on! Where are these people? I've lowered my altitude by like 7,000 feet. Like, seriously? Where are they? Just hanging along the ground? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> there, it took me a while. God damn, that's gonna be a huge fucking cut in editing. Good God. And then you can clearly see where I cut the video because fucking, because of the timer being on screen, which I had to fight tooth and nail to get that thing up there. Fuck you! Fuck you! What altitude are they at? Such bullshit! I have to keep guessing! This game is all about fucking guesswork. Where the fuck? Where? Where the actual fuck is this stupid ass plane? Huh? I'm 
gonna shoot these barracks. I'm gonna shoot these barracks. There, I shot the barracks. Did do do anything? No, it didn't. It didn't do shit. It's right there. God damn. God damn you, plane. That's it. I'm gonna fly seventy thousand miles this direction. Just, 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 just to see what the issue is. They don't make it clear enough where the enemies are. So when you're trying to kill them, it's very, very ludicrous to try to figure out where the fuck you're going wrong. Because I don't... Oh, there, there he is. Okay, so I wasn't at the right altitude. Okay, there. I caught him. I caught him. I caught him. I caught up to him. Yes! I killed them all. There, I did it. And I can try to make a landing. No, you don't make landings. Congratulations, have it cleared. There we go. <laughs> Program VR Stalker. Scores 2370. Good. New Mexico. New Mexico. Destroy nuclear missile silo, clear en skies enemy helicopters. Expected resistance, air moderate, ground intense. So now we get more plans. So I beat that level on my first try, but it took me fucking almost 15 minutes to get it done. That's how boring this game is. That's how boring and tedious this game can get, where it takes you that long. Satellite reconnaissance is no collection. Okay, whatever. So I'm seeing these helicopters. Oh yeah, helicopters in this game. They don't just take one bullet to kill. They take two bullets to kill. Two bullets. Or two missiles, rather. Oh my god. How the fuck do I keep missing a helicopter? That should be the most blanket statement, obvious fucking thing that he will shoot down in the fucking world. There you go. Now the best part is, in this game, they can take your missiles away if you die too many times. Or if you apparently shoot too many missiles, like you, you have a missile count. Which I think you can only see in the fucking first person view. So like you have to play in this shitty first person perspective to see how many missiles you have. Which is dumb. Because the map in the first person mode is, is like nth times worse than in just regular. Yeah, look at that. Ammo count. There's ammo. Like, just ugh. So many things make this game so much more aggravating than it should be. You see that A letter? You, you better better be afraid because that's a missile that's coming for you. Okay. Whew. I'm trying to get rid of these helicopters because I at least want to get rid of the helicopters before I run out of missiles. Okay, so now I think all they're directing me towards is the silo. I mean, I might as well just try to shoot down now. Oh, and I would love to direct, direct, direct your attention to the greatest collision detection ever. I didn't get shot. It didn't look like I got shot. But yeah, I got killed for just flying too close to the thing. That's this game, in a nutshell. It can fuck you over for something so trivial. Oh. 
Okay. It's fine. I got rid of the nuclear silo. So now I just have to find this last helicopter, which... I don't know where the hell they are. I'm gonna figure out. And these guns are just gonna keep shooting me unless I get higher up in the air. Which, yeah, getting shot in this game is basically... Like, basically, everything in this game insta-kills you. Everything. The enemies take way more hits than anything else. But, yeah. Uh, if you get shot once, you're done. The game's over. But if I get too close to the helicopter, or not the helicopter, the mountain, I die! Isn't that cute? I'm sorry that this gameplay is so boring, it's just... Fuck. This damn anti-aircraft fire is just... Ugh, it's insanely hard. It's insanely hard to dodge. And you have no clear vision on how you're supposed to avoid it because the shoddy hit detection. Because like the mountain can be here and you can be like over here and you die. That's the collision detection in this game you're working with. It's some of the worst collision detection in any game. Oh, where am I trying to shoot? I don't know what I'm trying to shoot. What am I doing? What am I supposed to do right now? I don't... Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Even then, the A-10 is not very good at shooting... For, uh, aircraft missiles. Because... Why do I have to kill everything? I swear to God, why do I have to kill everything? This is the worst thing I've ever... This is one of the worst things I've ever done in my life. Just because of how boring it is. Like, I hate making something boring. Oh, does it show me how close I am to the target? And I got shot down because I didn't know what to do. I... And I'm dead. Yep. What am I supposed to shoot? You know I have no clue what I'm doing wrong. But those anti-aircraft guns are your kryptonite. They will kill you. They will end you so fast. I was taking my aggression out on these freaking mountains. Okay. I'm at a loss. I don't know what I'm supposed to do right now. I think I'm just soft locked the game permanently. What the hell am I trying to do? And I'm dead. I died. I died. Yeah, I died. I can't figure out what I'm supposed to shoot. I found it. I found him. That's what I was looking for. That was gonna... That was the thing that was supposed to end the level. That. That. Mm. Mm. Oh boy. I like it so much. Oh fuck me. Arizona. Arizona. Clear out nuclear missile silos. Air moderate, ground moderate. Okay.
So now we have planes and helicopters. And somebody shot me. Yep. Uh, you can't see missiles coming at you. You're just supposed to know that they're there. You're just supposed to know. Now, sometimes shooting things in this game are satisfying. It is satisfying to finally clear out a group of enemies, but... Other times... Ugh. Like, you seriously have to get used to this terrible first-person perspective. That get, It gets in the way. It honestly can get in the way of what you're trying to look at. Oh, was that a helicopter? And I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. Yeah, I died. Because of a fucking missile. WHY would you even make that a feature? That's so stupid! Yeah, just just give the player no defense against missiles. None! No ability to be able to see missiles whatsoever. Apart from a stupid A letter. That is honestly one of the most unintelligible things ever put in a video game. Like, you can't tell that it's coming! Fuck that plane. Like, the most you can do is just bank in that direction and pray. Well, I didn't have to waste another missile. Oh, God. Yeah, it's almost taken me an hour. Like, it took me almost an hour just to get to this point. Level three. I think that's just an A10. Yep. Okay. I'm about to have clear out. Cl Alright. Oh. Alright, I've either almost cleared out the skies or I've totally cleared out the skies. Okay, there's a helicopter. And I've got a missile on my tail. Or not. Okay, solve that issue. Wow, the helicopters are more heading towards the ground. There. Now I can focus all my effort on these damn nuclear silos. I'm about to die. That's good though. Whatever, I didn't die in vain. <laughs> I'm a true blue air flying hero. No more! Echo to die, a true blue dolphin hero. Fuck that on the next game. Alright, I'm dead. Oh my god. Oh, these fucking anti aircraft guns are so. Fucking vicious. Like they're they're the most vicious fucking thing I have ever seen. Alright, did I destroy this one? No I didn't. Fuck. there. I'm gonna pull out before the fucking aircraft guns even have a chance to shoot me. Okay. There. Of 
gotta get away before the fucking aircraft guns shoot me. This area is infested with aircraft guns. Okay. Oh, I did it! There we go. We beat it. Okay, there we go. And I was not piloting an A-10, but sure, do whatever you want. We've got 15 minutes left, so it's all good. I don't even care if I have to start the whole game over. I don't care at this point. I'm, fu I'm fine. I'm good. I'm fucking good. Mo 5K1, 5-1, or... 5k1 and then 51k. Okay. Texas. Texas. Texas, Steve. Texas. Texas. <laughs> Destroy two ground objectives. Clear the skies. Now, you're going to hate this level. Because the millisecond you get dropped into this stage, you have to immediately bank another direction. Because they designed this level so poorly that they actually kill you instantly. Hear that beeping? That's a missile. Like, I barely just escaped my own death right there. You know, because that's what I want to worry about, is instantly dying I, I swear to god this game has no concept of mercy oh wow really that helicopter didn't wow I do the flashing lights that can't be a helicopter there you go so I'm trying to clear out the skies as quickly as possible Come on, just blow them up, blow them up, blow them up. Damn it! <sighs> so many fucking things. So I have four F-16s and an A-10 and an F-117. Now the F-117 is not anything special, so don't get your hopes up. Planes are so fucking. Ugh. I'm about to die again. What the fuck? Yeah, that helicopter's deliberately trying to crash into me. I think that's what that helicopter is trying to do, is it's deliberately trying to crash into me. Good! Like, if you are a master at the damn sideways perspectives, then you're not beating this level. Damn it! Damn it! Oh god, I'm getting disoriented. I'm about to die just from disorientation. Like, just... Fuck! This isn't how you design a game! Oh, that's why they want you to be in first person, so that you actually know what the ground is. Oh, thank you, I actually fucking killed something for once. God damn it, I'm gonna pick up my throttle a little bit, just so I can shoot more of these fools. Because there's so many planes out here, and they don't give you enough missiles. So, like, if you miss a couple planes, then, yeah, it's basically game over if you miss a couple shots. Okay. There's that person dead. Should be dead. Alright, they're dead. I'm a master pilot. Can I have my license yet? No. Fuck you. Like, 
this is like a fucking thing they would tell you to get your fucking pilot's license just to fuck with you. You know, it's like, hey, just 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 write a fucking paper about how good this game is. And in actuality, it doesn't net you shit. I'm s I am I am I'm, I'm I'm super confused. I have no idea what what oh oh okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, you piece of shit plane, I need these fucking missiles. Because fucking I'm gonna slow off. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill off my throttle at least a little bit. Fuck you. I'm desperate for anything to be an enemy. I swear to god, I'm so desperate. I have less than ten minutes though, so it's the time is nigh for me to fuck to say fuck this game. And I don't have to play it anymore. You're serious. Where the fuck are these planes? Where are they? Where the hell are they? Like take They're planes! How could they be this hard to track? Like, it doesn't make any goddamn sense. Nope. Do the crashed planes still have their fucking lights going off just to mess with you? Like, I feel like that's a thing this game would do. I need more range of view because I cannot see where the actual fuck these, these people are. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Oh, uh, no. Yes! Yes! Thank you, God! I actually freaking killed somebody. It took me so long just to kill a person. Like, God fucking hell. God damn it. It's taking me so long just to get to these fucking planes. I, ca I can't... I can't even fathom what this would look like in real life. Just just, two, just three planes flying in the air for hours. I can't stop ascending for the love of fucking God. Alright, I've only got 15 missiles left. So if this person keeps, because this last craft keeps fucking with me, then it's done and it's over. I won't be able to kill him easily, unless I use, like, the machine gun or some shit. See what I'm supposed to do. I'm just supposed to fly thousands of miles in the air. Like a fucking asshole. Now imagine if you could run out of gas while all of this was happening. Arr! Finally! Now I can shoot the goddamn ground targets. Took me long enough! There, see, now I want to get rid of this plane. You know what? Some sacrifices are worth being made. I should have flipped, didn't I? Oh, I found this guy at the last moment. Boosh. Okay, you know what? There. Job well done. Let's crash. Alright, 
Let's see if we can beat this minute, this last level. I don't care about the timer at this point. I just want to see if we can beat this. I'm going to pull out the F117. Because now I should be able to just shoot a shitload of missiles at the same time. So I'm going to shoot uh, whatever's on the outside of the town first. And then if necessary, then I'm going to blast the buildings. Because it doesn't seem like I need to blast the buildings as much as I do need to shoot the stuff that's around the buildings. So that's what I'm going to do. But uh, yeah, this craft definitely does look like a stealth bomber. I don't think it's exactly like a stealth bomber, but it can pass for a stealth bomber. Alright, that's not what we're looking for. So there you go. And now it's just a boring ass grind of trying to do this. And if there's another level past this, then I'm just gonna give up completely. And just say that this game just takes fucking forever to complete. Okay, I didn't mean to shoot that missile. Shove on my altitude. I know I'm. I know I'm really low to the ground. Thing is, how am I not supposed to be low to the ground? I'm shooting buildings. So I cleared the skies. That's what I did. I, I definitely did clear that. So now I'm just going after fucking buildings. Fucking buildings. All I'm going after are buildings. All right, so I've already shot that building down. I mean, if you were in the 90s, then I think you'd be pretty stoked over this, but for me, it's like, ugh, these graphics, not only, like, they don't, they don't help any. Like, they don't convey anything. Like, I know I'm supposed to be flying in Texas at night looking for fucking satellite towers or some shit. But when you can barely see anything and everything doesn't look like what it's supposed to, it can breed frustration. These ground missiles suck at their job. Actually, ooh, yeah, I need the A-10 for all this. And I can blast these buildings as much as I want. found the stuff out here. That must have been that building I shot down earlier. It looked like a castle. Yeah, it's not registering on my radar, so...
Oh, hold on. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I'm so tired and frustrated. I just want to figure out where these freaking last few buildings are. Shit, 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 shit. Oh my god, I almost just died. There. There. I found my fucking target. Damn, I'd rather shoot the thing with a machine gun. That seems like the easiest thing to do. Oh shit, look, there's satellite stuff. I think those are the targets. I did it. Yes! I did it! So it was the castle building and the satellite dish. That's what you gotta shoot. Okay. Missile in space. Okay. Alright, cool. There, level four. There's level five. Gulf of Mexico. Destroy oil dr drilling platforms. Alright, so this just has to be a. Uh, this just has to just has to be like a bonus level, and you just die. I mean, this seems easier than fucking anything else in this game, just because. It's because you actually know what the fuck you're trying to shoot. Unless there's like seventy thousand fucking aircraft guns and that could be a problem oh yeah look aircraft guns ah right, whatever I'm, I'm done with this I'm done with this fucking game well, there you go. That that was VR Stalker. I I didn't particularly enjoy that. I didn't at all. <sighs> Could you believe I get to play tons of war games in that style? Holy oh, vey. This is going to be a long series. Anyway, I will see you all next time.